Hi, welcome back to the Inside Source Executive Interview Series. My name is Dawn Tura. I'm President and CEO of Sourcing Industry Group, also known as SIG. And today with me is Philip Wood. Now, Philip Wood is the Director of Strategic Sourcing and Operations at Microsoft. And I've known Philip for a number of years. I knew him back when he was with WAMU, which then was taken over by J.P. Morgan Chase. And before that, he was a director at McKesson. A long and deep, rich experience. He's been with Microsoft since 2009. Correct. That's a long time in a big company like that. It certainly is. So Microsoft has always been considered a leader in innovation. So talk to me about what you've been doing lately. I, I hear you're trying to innovate your supply chain processes. So at, at Microsoft, it, ever since we had our leadership change, I think there's, uh, there's been a new focus on uh, one, approaching problems as one Microsoft, so you know, breaking down any old silos that we've had. And one of the things that they've really done is to try to emphasize getting people together to, uh, to basically solve problems that they see with, either within Microsoft or outside of the company. So once a year, for example, we have this large event called the Hackathon. And it's a week-long event where uh, you can, in effect, take a pet project that you have You'll get uh, some like-minded individuals, and you'll basically work on it for a week uh, to try to produce an outcome. And that's one way that they're fostering innovation. Now, within procurement itself, uh, we've taken that in, at a smaller scale, mm -hmm. uh, but we, we hold what we call extended leadership team meetings twice a year. And in there, we're actually, again, trying to come up with different ideas on how we can drive changes within our own organization. Last year, I actually worked in a facilitated session called Kill the Company. Uh, and the interesting thing was you were trying to think of ways to actually uh, end procurement within Microsoft. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you were actually revealing potential flaws in, in your model and what you'd have to do to innovate uh, to stay ahead uh, stay ahead and be more future looking. So it was really an interesting exercise. Oh, that is. Yeah. So what about risk these days? As you just saw their lunchtime speaker you know, yes. on risk, I want to say cybersecurity, but he said, no, it's all risk. It's right. just security risk. What are you doing at Microsoft about security risk? Well, there's really two things that we do with our supply base. Uh, one is they, when we onboard a supplier or even after we've onboarded them, we have a group within procurement that's called uh, the Supplier Security Privacy Assurance Team. Okay. And what they'll do is they'll actually go out to a company and they'll interview the company in effect to find out, you know, are you handling HBI data, so high business impact data, medium, you know, so they try to classify exactly what they're For doing. For every vendor you bring on? Uh, from almost all the suppliers that we bring on. Wow. Yeah. So there's a lot of, it, basically what it is, we're using uh, a software provider that's one of the software providers from, that appear at SIG. Uh, they're actually facilitating a workflow for uh, survey questions that then are automatically scored and it shows whether or not we need to do any further action with that company. So that's one approach. The other is in all of our contracts. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a cloud services addendum and all suppliers are required to sign that. Uh, and that outlines a series of you know, terms and conditions around how our data is supposed to be handled in any cloud environment that we might be, might be in. Okay. So those are the two main ways. So the greatest challenge facing you today is probably different than it was five years ago. I mean, five right. years ago, we weren't talking about data. We were talking about big data, or data security, big data, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, any of that. So how has your world changed today? Well, uh, that's a great question because we just literally had a reorg um, two days ago oh. to address the changing face of our business. So Microsoft as a whole uh, has recently had a reorganization and all of our business engagement managers who face off within our segments, we had to re rethink you know, what do they look like and who do they support since things have changed. And specifically because we're attacking a whole slew of new problems like artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just had a work change to address that so that our uh, engagement management team are faced off with the right executives within the company. That's one way that we're really trying to handle that. And the other is that uh, we're taking a look really uh, deeply inside our organization around how do we simplify uh, our processes, our policies, and take those to the next level from a systems perspective. Mm -hmm. So we know that we have a, um, we've built our own systems to handle procure to pay, and we know that we've needed to revisit that. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to address you know, user simplification, so make it really simple for someone to buy. That's mm -hmm. the first thing. Still have the controls and compliance that are required, you know, that the company requires. And then make sure that they have a robust system that allows us to do it you know, quickly mm -hmm. and efficiently. Oh. So that's, a bit, that's been a year-long effort. We're now moving into uh, taking all of those requirements that we uh, uh, created through that simplification process and translating it into a technology roadmap. 
Okay. So, yeah, it's a very interesting. Very interesting so, time. as you heard yesterday when we were listening to John Scully talking about the rate of change, you know, how a technology right. roadmap, how much do you think you'll actually follow that roadmap, or will technology change as you're on that roadmap and, and right. throw you on a curve? Right. Well, because I work for a large technology company, <laughs> we are doing some leadership or thought leadership on that in terms of what's required for our own applications. For example, uh, accessibility is a very, very big topic mm -hmm. at Microsoft right now. So all of our internal applications, including our customer applications, have to be accessible. We've set some pretty aggressive time frames. So when you talk about change in a technology stack, we're very aware of what happens if you end up building your own stuff or whether you buy it. So that's one of the big criteria in terms of how do we stay agile, uh, given how, th how fast things are changing. Um, so that, that's a very, very important question in how we build our technology roadmap. So tell me, I know you're chairing one of our new working groups. Yes. So tell me about it. So it's the Sourcing Tools uh, and Technology uh, Governance Workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, we had our first kickoff meeting about a month ago. Mm -hmm. We had about 32, 33 uh, members who participated. Great. And we had a, a variety of interesting topics emerge that people are interested in hearing about. Uh, one was blockchains, which mm -hmm. you know, prior to that, literally that call, I didn't know what that was. Oh my goodness, so, yeah. so there's some very you know, interesting things going on in the industry that are going to affect procurement uh, fairly substantially, mm -hmm. and I think having this working group is really going to shed light on a bunch of interesting topics that uh, members of the SIG are going to want to know about. Oh, good. So, so you'll be reporting on that probably at the next summit. I think so. Oh, good. I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> so thank you. you. Microsoft and you especially have always been a, a huge supporter of SIG. So what can we do for you? What should we be doing different to support you? Uh, that's a great question. I think what I really enjoy about SIG is that whenever I come to one of the conferences or ever interact with the website, there's always some nugget of gold that I'm going to get out of, uh, out of that opportunity. Um, I think for SIG, you know, the, the most important role is to continue to be an industry uh, thought leader, really trying to showcase what's happening in procurement and not, not regress back to topics that are you know, already old and sort I of agree. dusted, right? but keeping sort of that forward focus. So I think that's what people are really going to be interested in, mm -hmm. um, especially as procurement as a function matures in most organizations. Well, I'm, I'm glad you say that because our, our feeling is that our role and our goal is to make people slightly uncomfortable by bringing things to them before they know that they need to know that. Yes. And if you sit there and oh, the same old stuff, I know it already, then we're not any value. But if I make you uncomfortable a little bit, then I get your attention. And if I get yes. your attention, we can help keep pushing the industry forward. So I'm glad, I'm glad you like that pressure. Okay, we're just about out of time. So I want to thank you all for joining us for another edition of the Inside Source Executive Interview Series. We'll see you next time.